Well, Teddy, what do I want to do? I want to get some uh, stuff out of the way. Um, uh, I want to talk about the best and the worst things to do when searching for government financial assistance programs. <laughs> that's the important thing I want to talk about now. Uh, so, uh, and that's it. I mean, people, you know, let's go help people. Uh, you know, I send you sources, you know, and you tell me like I've, I've done that. I was working all morning, uh, getting information of people who are looking for money for, you know, the debt problems, the student loan problems, uh, uh, starting business problems, housing problems, uh, 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 all these kind of problems. So what I do is give you sort of, hey, this is the best places to look. But what's important, do you remember that what's good and bad? Now, I've been researching this stuff for 40 or 50 years now. So the, the worst thing you should do in looking for a government assistance program is using Google. Yeah, <laughs> because... <laughs> Google is, is fine for certain things, but you, you have to know exactly what you're looking for. And you don't. You're looking for help. You're looking for money. And, and the people who give all that help and money for free, they don't call it help, but they don't call it money. So you're putting in grants or something in Google, you're, you're just going to get people who are selling you stuff. And even if you do put the right thing in there, you're going to get websites that look more interesting that, <laughs> because they work on making their end. Websites look interesting because they want to get your money. So the problem is you have to fight all that stuff. It's the sharks out there, you know, in Google land that are after your money. So that's why the best place to start is from a government supported office. See, if you start there, that's why I say, uh, even if it's wrong, the wrong office is just <laughs> is better than Google. <laughs> but Google is worse. You know, a government wrong office is better than Google. So that's why when you're looking for things, make sure it, number one, either has .gov at the end, that means it's a government office, or .org. These are the two websites that don't charge you. Now, some of the .orgs maybe try to sneak in some money now and then to keep themselves going, but on a whole, they're not. And they're worth investigating before you ever investigate uh, some .com. So that's the thing. You want to either, uh, you want to don't go to Google and start finding just existing government offices, even if they're wrong. Now, how do you start doing that? Well, that's what I do. See, I send you, hey, these, I send you links. Hey, these are on government offices. Now, you know, probably, they probably will help you. No guarantee. There's no guarantee with anything that, that, that the people will really do what you want or do what you hope to solve your problem. But they're supposed to do something like that. Now, it depends on too many things, too many variables. It's sort of like dating to me. You know, I can show you where all the single guys or girls or whatever you're interested in hang out, but you got to ask them <laughs> and see if it makes sense for the both of you to do this. So that's what it is. Now, see, when you're there like that, that you find a, a link from me or see there's free research help. There's people out there will do research for free to tell you. So if you're looking for money to fix up your house, you could call your, <laughs> your library. That's right. They're a government office. They're not going to charge you money. They ask, answer questions like this, and the answers may or may not work, Yeah, <laughs> and, and, but they're free. <laughs> and they know you're looking for uh, free money, so they understand all that, and they're not going to try to sell, sell you something. Uh, so that's the way. Okay, where else? The 211 is available for free. They do research and, and help you for free you know, uh, on that. So wherever you are in this country, you could call 211 and ask them. Now, again, it may or may not work. <laughs> and so, but that, that, that's, well, that's what everything is. You ask somebody for a date. They may or may not go out with you. You have no control over that. You know? it, it, it's the chemistry between them, between the two of you. And that's the same with getting help. Now, where's the other place, okay? Your elected official, okay? They're the same thing. They may or may not help. <laughs> they may or may not know something. And what they may send you may or may not work. But they know that you're looking for not spending money, and that's all they'll show you. Are those things that make it not spending money? Okay, another thing, like if you're a senior, there's an area office on aging. Every place in this country has an air, every county has what's called an area office on aging. So instead of going to Google, I need this for, you know, I'm 
uh, and say like you're over 55, actually the government thinks you're a senior over 40. That's right, or 40, you're a senior. So if you're over 55, 40 or 55 or whatever, you call your area office on it. Where do I get money to fix up my house? That's a place, okay, <laughs> to do. So see, you're looking for, <laughs> stay away from Google. <laughs> let you know exactly what you're doing. You have the exact name of a program. You have the exact name of a website. You have an exact name of the, uh, the government office or whatever. Then you could use Google. They're great when you know exactly what. But if you're out there fishing for stuff, nah, the sharks are going to get you. you know? So those are the kind of things uh, that you can use to get there. Now, so let's say you have a source or two from me, or even if I give you a report. See, if I, if I do a report for you like housing, well, that has over 100 programs in your city on housing. Okay, what do you do with that? Okay, what do you do with that is you go through the list or something that library gave you, whatever list you have, you call it even if you think that it's not for you. See, you just call that sucker. You just contact it. It doesn't have, they're in that business. They're in the ha the business, you know, you got that uh, contact because they're somehow helping people with housing or somehow helping people with uh, starting a business or somehow helping people with their debt problems or whatever. Even if you read them and they say, you know, it doesn't look like exactly whatever. No, you don't ignore that. You call them anyway. And that's call. You get on the damn phone and, and call those suckers, you know, <laughs> because if, if you're just going uh, on the internet and doing so, man, it's easy to say no. See, these bureaucrats you talk to who don't make money from you, you're used to talking to people who want to get your money. They treat you very nicely, right? <laughs> like hookers. <laughs> They're going to treat you very nicely until they get all your money. Then when you're out of money, you're gone. <laughs> See, these people are different. They get paid no matter what they do for you. See, so the only the only tool you have <laughs> is you and your personality when dealing with these people. So you have to, you know, even if they have a miserable day, you know, you can't be miserable back to them because you ain't gonna get boopkas. They're gonna hang up on you and get the same paycheck. So you have to use your personality trying to get them. And see, if you're doing uh, online, it's easy to uh, to you know uh, to make you go away. They just say, oh, no, I, we don't do that. Can't do that. No, and you're gone. Yep. But if you call or if you go down there in person, you just show up face to face. Hey, hey, can you help me? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I need help, 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 help me. <laughs> if you go, it's hard to flunk you. You know, it makes it harder. Your person or our instincts as human beings is to help each other. But we have to think of you as a human being. We can't think of you as a digit you know, or a professional. That's the problem with being professional. <laughs> be kind. Be nice. Screw about being professional. Just be nice and respectful and kind. That's all you need. You don't have to be professional because that's, that's a robot. That's a person. And you're miserable trying to be something you're not. <laughs> and they can't relate to you because you're relating in the way that Nobody cares. You're a robot. And there's so many bots on the, <laughs> on the internet, you can't tell a real person from an unreal person because they just look like professional people, all these robots that are asking you, answering you. you know? <laughs> so be kind, be nice, be sincere, you know, send thank you notes, all those things that make you endearing to somebody else because they, they have the power. See, and even if that office that I give you or you get somebody else, doesn't help you at all. They don't have, hey, hey, you know, they say, hey, what the hell do you think we had? Well, I got this thing from Alesco, you know, ah, that bag of wind, you know, no wonder he sends these people. We don't have that. Well, that's, you don't stop. You don't stop at that point. That's the treasure. That's the important time. That's the, that's the time where everything starts to maybe happen for you bigger than anything else you could ever think of because you'll ask, where do you think I could get that from? Who do you think has it? Now, see, I believe that that person you're talking to now who just said no is the best possible source for you to find the real office that could help you. Why? Because they're 
a professional, <laughs> you know, in that subject area. So they're going to all these board meetings and all this kind of stuff, you know, uh, you know, association meetings for this topic and learning about it and have been handling people's problems for five years, 10 years, 30 years, if it's the government, you know, <laughs> kind of thing. And, and they're there to help. So they, more than anybody, would know other places that could really help you. And you have to learn how to use this. This is the important part of researching. Researching is not knowing the answer. You, I mean, knowing the exact place to go. No. Researching is finding maybes. And they lead you to yeses. You know? And that's what it's all about. You know, uh, you know, you ask some woman for a date, they say, no, but I got a sister, you know, <laughs> who probably would like going out. <laughs> that kind of, that's where the magic happens. And you have to do that. And it's a numbers game. It, it's not, you can't believe you're going to make one phone call and get a check in the mail. No, this may take, uh, you know, a hundred phone calls or something a day, depending on the project or whatever. If you're not prepared for that, then you're probably not going to get it. Sure, there are lucky people that get it in one phone call or whatever, but it, it's not going to happen if you keep just Googling, you know. That's it. It's going to happen if you get out going belly to belly with people, talking to them on the phone, going to meetups, going to all these other free sources to get leads, to get opportunities, to learn, to keep your ears open and, and to be as flexible as possible. Because what happens uh, is that we have too much of a defined idea why we want the money. And there's money there for something else that isn't defined your way. It's defined somebody else's way. So there's nobody out there, like if Tracy wants money to grow her real estate business, right? <laughs> and she's going out looking for grants for real estate, but uh, businesses to grow. And, and see, the, the, what happens is, is people who start these programs, which are the political, uh, I mean, the elected officials, that's where it comes from, the legislation, the Congress, or your state uh, legislative body, they decide we need to solve problems, you know, not for Tracy, <laughs> but maybe for housing, you know, we need to sell people get houses. So that's what they talk about. So that's why, so you have to learn those programs and how you who want to start a real estate business can take advantage of them to make your business grow. That's how to do it. So you, you, when you're, you know, the, the Congress and the uh, senators don't sit down and say, well, let's do a, a Casey law. Yeah, I mean, a Tracy law. <laughs> we'll do a law that gives Tracy. I mean, they do that for big fat cats. <laughs> Tell me the truth. They just don't qualify their name. Uh, but, you know, none of us are, are, are that influential <laughs> to get that done. Uh, and so you find out what's there, the problems they're trying to solve. And there's enough there because they're crumbs. The crumbs are millions of dollars, so don't worry about them uh, being crumbs. And that's the key to it. And that's why I think every source I send you, remember, talk to as many people in those sources as possible. If the person on the phone that call you talk to doesn't know their button from their belly button from, from a, you know, uh, their pocket or whatever, you know, say, well, is there somebody there who may know more about programs in this area. Ask them. And they'll say, well, I'm my boss, they tell me, I'll make an appointment, you can talk to him. Blah, 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 blah. That's how you get the good stuff. You know, and that's what I mean, to learn in this society and to learn and cut through all the bullshit that's out there. Remember, all the bullshit is really marketing. And everything, you know, 90%, 95, probably even more of everything that you're searching for on the internet is somebody marketing. That means they're spending a lot of money trying to get your attention so they can get your money. Uh, and so there's a lot of information out there, but the good stuff is just little pockets that you have to use other skills to really get it. You know? And once you know, if somebody says, well, hey, there's an organization, like I read one in the paper today that really helps um, you know, people buy homes. And now I know the name of that person. If I just put in, I was in grants, I'd never find it. But now I know the name, so I could put that in and find that name. And I'll do a report on that soon so other people can know about it. And I'll find out and talk to the people and find out and, and see how um, it can be taken advantage of. 
So that's what I want to make sure people really understand about what it takes to live in our society. We have this false sense of security that we know everything because we have Google. It's causing just as many problems that it solves. It's great and it's there to solve problems, but you have to learn more about it in order to take advantage of it. Okay, guys? Anybody got a quick question before I go? Because I got another thing I want to do. <laughs> Actually, I'm moving my whole house. See this house behind me? We're moving to apartment <laughs> downtown Washington, D.C. And tomorrow is moving day. <laughs> and I'm going to rent out this house. And we're going to live. We have two one-bedroom apartments down in downtown Washington, D.C. That's the way to stay married. You have two one-bedroom apartments on different floors. <laughs> My wife hear me whispering in the other room. <laughs> but it's ideal because, uh, first of all, I got my clothes. I got too many clothes for it. One run boom, one 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 red, one bedroom apartment. <laughs> so we got two. But then we find, hey, what's magical about that it is that when she has friends over, I can't hide in one bedroom. I have to sit in the closet all day or something like that. No, I just go up the apartment. Or she, like me, I, I become a, uh, an idiot or something. She could send me upstairs and <laughs> we live our own stupid lives. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way to do it. Uh, so that's great. Uh, okay, guys, uh, remember, ask me questions, and I'll try not to tell you no lies. <laughs> no guarantee. I don't know everything. We're all guessing. <laughs> I just know how to find stuff. Maybe. <laughs> Take care.